In this video tutorial, we will see how to create vector. Vector is a basic object in R. It is a sequence of elements of same class type. And when I say class type, uh, class type can be numeric, integer, character, logical, or complex class types. Let's start with creating a very basic vector. We create a, a vector by default by assigning an element to the object in this case we assign an element 1 to the object y let's print the value of y we see that the value of y is 1 it's a vector with just one element we can also use print function to print the value of uh, the object we can see the class type by using the class function on y and we see that y vector is a numeric vector we can also see the length of this vector by using the length function on y and it shows that the the vector y is a numeric vector and it's of length one that is just one element we can also create vector using colon operator so if we we assign 1 through 10 sequence using colon operator to x we will get a sequence 1 through 10 we can use the class function on x to see what's the type of class and its integer we can use length function once again to see how many elements are there in this object and so it will show that we have 10 elements in this object now we can see another way to uh, create the sequence and this is using the c function or the concat concatenate function uh, in this case uh, the the elements um, given within the um, function are actually combined to form the sequence and so if we give these elements uh, in the function all these will will be combined to form a sequence and we see that uh, we get this sequence all these elements are combined we can also use C function to combine the character elements so if we give a b c d and print x y c we see that we now have uh, the the vector with elements a b c d and if we want to check what's the class of this vector we can use the class function once again to see the class and it shows that the class is character type so this is basically a character vector there is another way to um, to create the sequence and this is by using the uh, the sequence function in this we define the first parameter as from and in this case we will say from equals to to equals 20 so this is the starting point this is the uh, this this is the end of the range and we, we need to also give the uh, the value of the uh, the incremental value so in this case I want to increment it by 2 so if I print our vector we will see that it started with two and and prints uh, the element with the increment of two so two then two plus two four four plus two six and so on and finally we see um, the end of of this vector with number 20 uh, we can also um, create the logical vectors by so if we if we print y y we see that um, this is our logical vector and if we 
put class function on yy we see that it's a logical vector we can also create uh, complex vectors in the similar fashion say 0 0.1 0 plus 1i 3 plus 2i and print we see that this is our complex vector okay there is another way to create sequence and this is using uh, the rep function rep is replicate and what what it does is basically it replicates the given vector so in this the first parameter is our vector and say for example it's a numeric vector of uh, an element 5 and I want to repeat it three times so if I print dd the object dd or the vector dd I would see that it prints the vector which we have given in the argument three times and it forms a sequence we can also um, use C function within this say a character vector and I want this to be printed two times so basically what would happen is I have given the vector a B and I want this to be printed two times so we see that this is the first time vector a B is printed and then this is the second time vector a B is printed now just imagine I want to print the individual uh, elements of this vector uh, to be printed twice so what I would do is I would use the vector a B so the vector is created but this time I want the individual elements to be printed two times and for that I will say each equals two so you see that this time instead of the vector the elements of the vector are printed two times so in this video uh, we saw how to create uh, vectors we created numeric vectors we created integer vectors we also created uh, character and logical and complex vectors and we saw how to use the C function the sequence function and the replicate function I hope this video helped